If you're located in China, you might notice that it's impossible to access some websites such as Facebook or uh, many websites from the West will operate very slowly. The way to resolve that is to use what's called a VPN. A VPN is a private connection that allows you to route your internet traffic through a server. Since this requires a server in a different part of the world, there is a small cost involved, usually between 10 to 15 dollars. In other words, about 100 RMB at the most. One of the companies which I like to use is called StrongVPN. If you use Google, you'll find all sorts of VPN companies offering their service. I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN after you have purchased a subscription from such a company. After purchasing your subscription, it might take up to about 24 hours before you are provided with some login information. That's normal. Sometimes it takes these companies a little while to verify your payment. If it's difficult to identify you, they might ask you to send in your uh, ID so that they can see that this is not being paid for fraudulently with a stolen credit card. That's a concern for a lot of online companies. So I'm going to copy my information here, and we're going to discuss what is the meaning of this and how to use it. The server address is the address for the server that you will be connecting to. And the physical location of that server is something that matters. You will do best if you're in China to pick a server which is in Los Angeles, California or is in Texas. That will virtually guarantee that your traffic will be routed from east to west instead of from west to east. You want to choose the right ocean to cross over otherwise you're going to be taking a long path around the world which is slower. Uh, also, both Texas and Los Angeles are areas where there is major backbone connections. And so, um, essentially, the pipes of the Internet are a little bit bigger in those areas. And that's where um, a lot of the traffic or the Internet superhighways are set up. And so that's where you want to be for the best access speeds when you pick your server. To use this information, we need to click on Start. And then locate where it shows Connect To under your Start menu. And click on Show All Connections. From here, we're going to create a new connection, which brings up this window. Click Next. Select Connect to the Network at My Workplace. This is the only option which talks about a VPN within the description. See where my mouse is right now. Click Next. Select Virtual Private Network Connection, VPN. Next. Company name does not matter. Select do not dial the initial connection. Next. Now we can type in the server. Next. And finish. Now we're asked for the other information, including username and password. If 
if you want your password to, read be, to be remembered, then place a check mark here to save it. And then you can have that apply only to your user account or to all accounts on the computer. It doesn't really matter. Next, if you have been provided with an L2TP key, click on Properties, and then select the Security tab, and click on the IPsec Settings button. Place a check mark here. Use a pre-shared key for authentication. and then drop that in. Click OK, OK, and then connect. After you make this first connection, your password, your password will be remembered from then on. For extended usability, I like to go into Properties and make sure that there's a check mark next to this option. Show icon in notification area when connected. In a moment, I'll show you why that's important. When you make a successful connection, that's what it looks like. And then, if you go down to your, to where little program icons are located in your uh, taskbar, you can look, you can look at your VPN connection. So I'm just going to double click on this. I can see the amount of data being sent and received, and then I can also choose to disconnect at any time that I want. If you ever have issues, just break your connection and then reconnect. That will usually fix any problem. And now that you have your VPN connection running, you should be you should find that you can access websites and services um, that were previously blocked or inaccessible or that operated very slowly. Using a VPN is particularly useful for anyone that is managing a game studio because it allows for your employees to uh, have lower ping times in the games that they're operating on. So that, uh, that helps them to be a little bit more responsive in the game and not be suffering due to connection lag. If you ever get yourself a VPN connection and you're in a country such as China, you find your VPN connection is not working, that might be easily resolved by changing your connection type. Uh, just let your VPN company know what the issue is and they can have a technician give you some instructions or just some remote assistance. The two most popular types of connections are PPTP and L2TP and it's not necessary to know what these, what these are or what the differences are. It's just important to know that there are some differences. So if one option is uh, has been blocked on your corporate LAN or by your ISP, you might be able to try out the other option to stay up and running. That's a particularly good piece of information to know if you ever go on travel to, uh, like you're going to different hotels, some hotels will block certain connection options like that. So having the ability to switch over can help you stay connected. In order to make your VPN connection at any time, just click on Start, go to the Connect To option here, and then any VPNs that you've created will be shown, and you can just click on them right from here. A final use that is good for VPNs is it can allow your connection to look a little bit more native. Uh, for example, myself, I live in China. If I want to make a purchase from a website in the USA, 
If they see an IP address from China, then they're going to be suspicious. And so when I'm going to make an online purchase, I hop on my VPN first so that my connection shows that I'm uh, located in the USA. That reduces how suspicious they are. Incidentally, that also helps me to be able to make purchases without having my accounts get locked down. So uh, PayPal, credit cards, etc. 